Europe's third largest democracy, the election is a horse race to the finish. <laughs> Ballots travel by horseback, by boat, and through the notorious traffic jams of Jakarta. It's one of the most extraordinary exercises of democracy in action and in fast forward. <laughs> Indonesia's combined presidential and legislative votes are the biggest single-day elections in the world, and polls are open for just six hours for a nation of nearly 193 million eligible voters. In a repeat of 2014, voters once again see presidential candidates Joko Widodo, also known as Jokowi, facing off against former military general Prabowo Subianto. Initial results show the incumbent Jokowi in the lead, but votes are still being counted. For Indonesia's mammoth elections, the logistics of this election are fiendishly complicated. The numbers are staggering. 245,000 candidates, 20,000 seats, 800,000 polling stations, and 6 million election workers. And they have to move all those ballots across a vast nation of islands, stretching more than 3,000 miles from east to west. Indonesians are spread over hundreds, if not thousands, of islands. Many of these places are very remote in mountain villages. You have to access place some places by small boats, uh, on foot in some cases. And remember that many different areas have different ballots because they're voting for different local candidates. Here, it really does take a village, or at least a village polling station. That's where votes are counted, sorted, and sent out from sub-district to district to province and then finally to the big city where results are certified and the winners are expected to be announced in late May. Will Ripley, CNN.